what is up? Hi everyone. We are at Palazzo. Today we're gonna be oh Once that's right. again your mask. <laughs> we are at Palazzo and we are going to be trying sushi samba. Susie has been asking for this place all the time. Yeah. Every single time we come here. I love sushi, so I made a reservation at 8.45. It is now. I don't know what time it is, but we're probably late. Because yeah, we were we, we got a Cosmo late, so we're yeah. gonna go back to Sushi Samba. We tried it one time before and it was absolutely amazing, but we didn't get to try everything we wanted to try because yeah. um, there was just so many things that sounded so amazing. So we're gonna go back, we're gonna give it a try, and here we go. So this is the rock shrimp tempura. Shrimp tempura, yeah. Give it a try. Some soy sauce. Hold the light on your beautiful face. Oh my god. Is it as good as the first time we tried it? It's beyond amazing. You don't understand how bomb this is. Alright, take another look at this guy's beautiful. Yes, you could just set it right there. Enjoy. Thank you. Thanks for doing this time. Enjoy. Thank you. Alright. Oh my god. It's so bomb. So this one is called the acevichado roll. Now this is the mixture of sushi and the samba. So I think this has tuna. Tuna, I don't know what I, what the things are, the fishes are, but it's good. And some spicy mayo. Soy sauce. This is pork belly. The pork belly, look at that. Oh. Got it? Yeah. Alright, first bite of the pork belly. It's very fatty, <laughs> so it's kind of chewy, but the flavor is absolutely amazing. Describe the flavor. It's like salty and honestly I don't know how to describe it but it's just really good. It just tastes like Korean barbecue but it's really good. And then we have lamb over here. Medium well lamb. Let's get a smaller piece so it's easier to... There we 
go. How does that lamb taste? You could taste like that. What's it called when it kind of like burns on top? Burns on top, like char. Is that char? char? Yeah, char. Like that burnt, but good burnt taste. Super amazing. The sauce on top gives it amazing flavor. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and try a little bit of everything. So, let's start with the lamb. It has like a nice little glaze on it. It's great. It doesn't have too much seasoning on it. It's just the right amount. But I still say Susie makes it better at home. I do. This is the pork belly. Let's try this. I don't like that too much. Look at that garlic, onion. We got this last time, remember? We got this last time? Yeah. We're gonna try the rock shrimp. Rock shrimp has to be my absolute favorite thing here. Yeah, rock shrimp is just amazing. It's amazing, yes. Yeah, what does it taste like? It tastes kind of like coconut shrimp, but no coconut. Wait for me to record it. Huh? Alright. This is sushi acevichato. Right. Susie's hogging up all the spicy mayo. Let's dip it from her plate. That's very fresh. It is amazing. So this is the tempura chicken. Chicken teriyaki. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I had it all wrong. So there is mashed potatoes on the bottom. Chicken on top of that. And then some sprouts. Let's go ahead and try this. <laughs> Very good. The mashed potatoes on this chicken teriyaki is purple. I like it. I don't know why. What gives it that purple color? Is it purple potatoes? They probably put food coloring. And here we got the Japanese Wagyu like dumplings. Wagyu beef. Looks good, but I'm so stuffed. There it is, right there. Give it some light. It's not bad. For a Wagyu dumpling. I give it maybe like 8 out of 10. Susie didn't like it because she said it's a little too sweet. Did you try it without the sauce? <laughs> this was a lot of food for two people. Alright, so for dessert, Susie got mochi. Dessert is a must. So we have uh, green tea, we have mango, and I forgot the word of <laughs> Co coconut? No, I don't think it's coconut. Lime? Oh. No idea. I'm gonna go ahead and try the mango. Hmm. Brain freeze again? <laughs> Alright, let's try the white one, the mystery flavored one, so she doesn't remember the name of. Lemony. Limey? I don't 
like lime. I don't like it. There's like a lime flavor. Not good. It's not bad. It tastes like soup. But it's not the best <laughs> best thing in the world. Yeah. It tastes like soup. I don't know what you how you know what soup tastes like, but okay. <laughs> it smells like I mean it smells like it tastes like a combination of soap and perfume. Here's soap number two. That's green tea. Green tea was way better than the soap. And the mango. The mango was the best one. What does this one taste like? Mango. Mango. It tastes like <laughs> mango. It, no, it tastes like something. Probably a mango. I mean it is mango flavored. All right, so for the miso soup, edamame, rock shrimp, wagyu gyoza, pork belly, lamb, teriyaki chicken, asavichado, and the mochi ice cream, grand total comes up to $159.31. It's kind of pricey, but good quality food, so definitely worth it. So we just finished with dinner at Sushi Samba. It was awesome. Fantastic. Now, we always do this, what would you rate it? 1 out of 10. 1, one to 10. 1 out of 10. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> 1 but to 10, what do you rate it? What do you rate? I rate it a 9 out of 10. Very generous, very generous. I would rate it 8.75. There were two things that I didn't like. Well, one thing was eh. So I didn't like the Wagyu beef dumpling and the pork belly it was a little too mushy for me the flavor was eh, you know but it was too fatty that's pretty much it <laughs> what didn't i like you didn't like that either yeah i didn't i didn't like that too much you ate all the dumplings <laughs> i ate all the <laughs> i left one so it doesn't look like i ate too much yeah my favorite thing was the rock shrimp oh yeah that's you guys have to get also that also the teriyaki chicken so she was very fresh. I love it. Take the mask off. Friend Palazzo or what was, what was the other? What was it? Sorry, I got distracted. We <laughs> just found the past story and got distracted. If you are near Palazzo or the Venetian, come and check this place out. It's amazing. And now, let's just walk around, see what what's something new that we could find. 